horses on New Year's Eve, walking down my Brooklyn street. And I saw fireworks in your eyes. I was falling, falling, falling one year ago at this time. Now I'm trying, trying, trying to get back my mind. I'll take my photographs, wrap them in bubble wrap. I'm leaving for the weekend, or maybe for the year. I'll secure all my edges, all the fragile remarks that were. Well, the shower is almost ready to use. Um, you can see I've got just a little bit more mud to do. And I ran into this problem here. This wall wants to be thicker than it is. See, I, I did a thin wall here to save space and not realizing that the uh, fixture was not going to going to work correctly because this piece here there was a big gap in it so I cut this out of a 2 by 10 I had laying around just a piece of scrap 2 by 10 and uh, I just attached this around here so this all fit snugly on there so I'm just about to put the backer board on there and then I'm going to do my mud on the remaining seams that I missed before I ran out of screws and I ran out of mud and so this is going to be mud up here so it's coming along I will be taking a shower in the bus today yes so I've got a, I put insulation on here and you can see I'm not using a vapor barrier this is actually some insulation that came with the bus here and the reason is because I'm more worried about uh, moisture getting trapped back there. Um, this thing tends to collect a lot of moisture, whether that's right or wrong. You know, I don't know if you think that's a mistake, uh, leave a comment. But that's how I'm doing it. And then this here is going to get uh, sheet aluminum, the kitchen area here. So I've taken this construction paper and making a template to see which it's going to fit. And then I can cut my sheet aluminum exactly the way it's supposed to do to fit here. And I should have done this before I did the insulation because that's getting in my way a little bit, but not too bad, I don't think. And then you see what I'm going to do here. I've got this hat channel stuff, and that's going to get insulation in there. And uh, these dome lights are going to be installed on the outside a lot. And then I'm going to use that same stuff on the ceiling here. Put a little insulation and a nailing or a surface for attaching uh, the ceiling. So it's coming along. They've been talking about the kitchen And what I like about you You leave the small talk on the back burner Here's how this wall turned out. 
is that piece of sheet metal. I was going to do all this with aluminum, had these great plans, but I had this old piece of uh, sheet steel that was sitting out there, kind of irritating me out in my yard. Um, and it's, um, you know, it's a little bit heavier. This, this whole thing is maybe 30 pounds or something like that, so we're not talking a huge amount of extra weight. And I'm going to paint it. And now today's little project is I'm going to put a piece of plywood on this wall here. And uh, you can see it's kind of a complicated pattern to cut. And so I did my little cheat sheet thing here. Here, let's take a look at this. So I put up um, some construction paper. This is actually a pretty easy way to do it, because if you make a mistake, so you can, here, let me turn it over, let's see. And so you can just kind of tape it all together. It's pretty easy to, if you make, make a mistake, you can just put a, tape an extra piece of paper on there. And you get this so it fits perfectly. And then I'm going to put this down and cut the plywood. So there it is. I'm actually pretty good at cutting, and uh, but I wouldn't have been able to cut this without doing that cardboard thing first. Now, hopefully it'll fit. <laughs> You're watching John's... Um... Box conversion? Yeah, that! So yum, yum, mine a lot. I'm yours a lot? <laughs> 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 Mm-hmm.